Can you imagine it? The sky suddenly lit up with a strange light, signaling an unprecedented destruction in the history of the planet. In the blink of an eye, 70% of marine species vanished, leaving an empty, eerily silent ocean. Millions of dead creatures floated on the surface, while coral reefs that were once vibrant now lay as desolate graveyards at the bottom of the sea. What caused this horrific catastrophe? Four hundred fifty million years ago, Earth was completely different from the world we live in today. The surface of our planet was a barren wasteland, with no trees, no lush forests, no vast grasslands, not even dry deserts. The land was an empty, quiet expanse, as if waiting for life to make its first appearance. But beneath the water, a completely different story unfolded. The oceans were teeming with life, creating a strange and diverse world. Can you imagine it? Millions of invertebrate crustaceans, in incredible shapes and sizes, ruled the seas. From tiny creatures the size of grains of sand to enormous beasts, they formed a rich and diverse ecosystem beyond what we could ever expect. Then in the blink of an eye, everything tragically changed. 70% of marine species disappeared completely. It was a haunting sight, a planetary scale tragedy we are fortunate not to have witnessed. But what caused this horrific disaster? This question has puzzled scientists for decades. Many theories have been proposed, from sudden climate changes to asteroid impacts. But the most famous and controversial theory points to a source far beyond our Earth. Imagine, 6,000 light years away from us, a distance that light itself would take 6,000 years to travel, a massive star ended its life in a spectacular supernova explosion. This explosion unleashed an enormous amount of energy in the form of gamma-ray radiation, a type of radiation incredibly powerful and dangerous. In the vastness of the universe, there is a type of energy so terrifying that just thinking about it makes scientists shudder. Gamma-ray radiation. Can you imagine an energy so powerful that it can travel through light years of space and still be capable of causing significant damage to a planet? That is the terrifying power of gamma rays. Did you know that a supernova explosion can shine brighter than an entire galaxy? In that brief moment, it radiates with the power of billions of stars. But along with that blinding light comes something far more terrifying, a massive storm of gamma rays hurtling into space at the speed of light. 6,000 years passed, and then the unimaginable happened that storm of gamma rays reached Earth. Can you picture that scene? In an instant, the Earth's sky suddenly lit up with a strange light, a light no living creature on the planet had ever witnessed. But that was just the beginning of the nightmare. When those gamma rays hit Earth's atmosphere, they triggered a chain reaction of destruction. Did you know that a single gamma ray has enough energy to break the chemical bonds of a molecule? Now imagine billions upon billions of such rays simultaneously bombarding our atmosphere. In an instant, the air molecules were torn apart, setting off a horrifying chain reaction. Earth's atmosphere, our most precious shield against the dangers of the universe, was now being ripped apart and igniting. It was like a giant balloon being punctured by millions of invisible needles. Among the first and most serious losses was the ozone layer, the shield that protects Earth from harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The ozone layer, already fragile, was now severely damaged, leaving enormous holes. Can you imagine the consequences of this? Without the ozone layer, Earth was like a soldier going into battle without armor. Then just 10 seconds after the gamma ray storm hit, a strange and frightening phenomenon appeared in the sky. A new star, so bright it could be seen even during the day, suddenly appeared overhead. It hovered there, nearly as bright as the sun, a terrifying warning of the disaster to come. 
This was the supernova, the star that had exploded 6,000 light years away, finally appearing before our eyes. Over the next 24 hours, the true impacts of this catastrophe began to unfold. With the ozone layer destroyed, intense ultraviolet light from the sun now shone directly onto Earth's surface without any barrier. Did you know that ultraviolet radiation can mutate DNA and kill living cells? Imagine the entire surface of Earth being bathed in this type of radiation. The consequences are almost unimaginable. The first organisms to suffer from this catastrophic impact were the smallest but most crucial to our ecosystem, plankton and surface-level oceanic plants. These microscopic organisms, which form the foundation of the ocean's food chain and produce the majority of Earth's oxygen, suddenly found themselves in a hostile environment. The powerful ultraviolet radiation penetrated the thin layer of surface water in the oceans, directly attacking the DNA of these tiny creatures. Within hours, billions upon billions of plankton and algae died, their bodies destroyed by the invisible yet deadly rays. The stench of death and decay began to spread across the seas, and that was only the beginning of the chain of disasters. Did you know that plankton and algae produce about 70% of the oxygen in our atmosphere? As they died off in massive numbers, oxygen levels in the air began to drop alarmingly. The oceans, once the green lungs of Earth, were now gasping for breath. What's more, the sudden disappearance of plankton and algae meant the foundation of the ocean's food chain was completely broken. Imagine what would happen if you suddenly removed all the food from an entire ecosystem. That's exactly what was happening in our oceans. Smaller creatures that fed on plankton suddenly found themselves in a world with no food. They began to starve en masse. And as they died, larger creatures, fish, squid, and other marine animals, faced a grim future as well. The food chain was collapsing from the bottom up, like a building crumbling from its foundation. Three months passed. After the initial shock of the gamma ray disaster, Earth entered a new phase of ecological nightmare. Can you imagine a world where everything is slowly and painfully dying? The organisms at the top of the food chain, larger, more complex creatures that had evolved over millions of years, became the first victims of this second wave of extinction. Large fish, giant squid, and even prehistoric marine reptiles began to die off in mass numbers. Why? Because the food chain had been broken at its roots, and now the final consequences were reaching the top of the ecological tower. The creatures that once ruled the oceans were now nothing more than lifeless bodies, drifting along new currents that had formed. The famine spread like an unstoppable plague. The surviving creatures faced a harsh reality. Their food sources were rapidly dwindling. Can you imagine the desperation of a living being when it realizes that no matter how hard it tries, it cannot find enough food to survive? This was the reality that every living thing on Earth was facing at that time. But the worst was yet to come. After eight months, a strange and terrifying phenomenon began to occur in Earth's atmosphere. The molecules in the air, broken down by the initial gamma ray storm, were now floating above, forming a toxic cloud. Did you know that the air we breathe every day is actually a delicate mix of different gases? Now that delicate balance had been completely destroyed. In a process scientists call chemical recombination, atoms in the air started rearranging themselves into new compounds. One of the main products of this process was nitrogen dioxide, a toxic gas with a reddish-brown color. Can you imagine the sky turning blood red across the globe? That's exactly what was happening. This toxic gas wasn't just dangerous to life, but also created an extreme greenhouse effect. It blocked nearly half of the sunlight, turning Earth into a dark and cold place. Can you imagine a world where daytime is as dark as night? The temperature of the planet started dropping sharply, creating a phenomenon unseen in over a million years. 
extreme temperature differences between regions. Some areas became intensely cold, while others were unnaturally hot due to localized greenhouse effects. Can you picture a world where you could travel from freezing ice fields to scorching deserts in just a few hundred kilometers? This temperature disparity led to an unexpected consequence. Massive ocean currents began to form. These currents, more powerful than anything seen in modern history, started to disrupt the entire global climate system. Storms became fiercer, droughts lasted longer, and floods grew more frequent. Earth's already unstable climate had now become completely unpredictable. In this environment, all surviving creatures faced unprecedented challenges. If you were a marine organism, you suddenly had to cope with rapidly shifting water temperatures, currents so strong they could carry you thousands of kilometers, and a near total disappearance of food sources. How could you survive? It's no surprise that after 500 years, one third of the remaining animal species had completely disappeared from Earth. That's an extinction rate far beyond anything we've witnessed in modern history. Can you imagine knowing that for every three animal species you once knew, one is now completely gone and will never return? The shallow coastal seas, once breeding grounds for countless new species and the cradle of ocean life, had now become massive graveyards. What was once teeming with life had turned into dead zones. The seabed littered with the bodies of creatures that couldn't adapt fast enough to the rapid and extreme changes. And what about the creatures that did survive? They were on the brink of extinction. Every day was a brutal struggle for survival. The remaining species faced a world that was entirely alien, where all the old rules no longer applied. Can you imagine what it would feel like for a creature to realize it might be the last of its kind? But amidst the darkness of despair, one question remained. Could any species adapt and survive this catastrophe? And if so, what kinds of life forms would they evolve into to survive in a world that had changed so completely? What lessons could we learn from the incredible resilience of life on Earth? We will explore all of this in a future video. For now, what we know is this. In Earth's 4.6 billion year history, many disasters have occurred. Though the sources of these disasters vary, they all left devastation in their wake. When will the next disaster strike? How will it unfold? Perhaps humanity will never know. So, cherish what you have now. Spend more time with your parents. Spend more time with your family. Because when disaster comes, life and death may just be a moment apart. Share your thoughts in the comment section below the video. And now, we'll conclude this video here. If you forgot to hit like or subscribe, please do so now to support us and ensure you don't miss any new videos. See you in the next video. Thank you so much.